Hi guys, welcome to Drum Dog, and in today's lesson we're going to be checking out this little fill sweep concept. So today we're going to be checking out this cool little sweep fill sticking that I've been playing around with a lot recently and we're going to be checking that out in its core starting position and then a couple changes I've put it through to get it where it is now. So without further ado, this little concept started as a paradiddle diddle idea. So for anyone who doesn't know, that is a right, left, right, right, left, left. And in this case, we're accenting the two singles right, left and playing the two doubles right, right, left, left as non-accents. So it started out as that and then I popped that little double kick on the end to make it a nice phrase of eight that works through sixteenths. Let's check that out on the kit. Now straight away we can start having some fun with that just by orchestrating those two accents right left across the toms. Now the challenge with that sticking as it is, is that we're ending on two kicks. And then say we want to put a crash and a kick on the end of it, that would be three really fast kicks in a row, which is super hard. So this is where I got the first idea to start changing this sticking up a little bit. Now this is something that I use in a lot of stickings to create different ideas, and the concept is permutation. Now that may be an unnecessarily big word, but all it means is we're starting the pattern in a different place. So instead of starting it on that right, left, right, right, left, left, kick, kick, we're going to be starting it with the kick, kick. So our pattern is now kick, kick, right, left, right, right, left, left. Let's check that out. Now straight away that becomes a lot easier to throw around the kit and then end on a crash because we've got a clean entry into beat one with our kick coming out of our doubles there. So I was having a lot of fun with that little fill concept but if permutation is one of my favourite ways to mess around with a sticking, my second favourite way to mess around with a sticking is to shift it into a different subdivision. So if we're working in 16th notes here currently, 1 e and a 2 e and a 3 e and a 4 e and a in those groups of 4. Let's try putting this thing through triplets. <laughs> I mean, it's almost a silly idea, but we've got a grouping of eight and we're going to put it through then triplets. We kind of work in these 24s, but yeah, eight goes into 24. We can make this work. Eight, eight does go into 24, right? Um, yes, it does. One, two, three times. 24. One, two, three times. Yeah, nice. Now 
Now straight away, that is a lot harder to play through triplets because the way those groups of eight move through our kind of phrasings of six does shift the accents through those quarter notes. So take that slow with that sticking and make sure you're really comfortable landing each part on those correct quarters before picking this up to speed and starting to have some fun with it. So there we go, once we've put that sticking through those two changes, it is super fun to throw around that kit and has that really nice kind of flowing sound to it with the accents and then the gentle doubles and that kick joining it all together. It really seems to flow through those triplets and have a super interesting accent pattern through it. Now this is just one way that I can mess around with that sticking, but hopefully this just gives you a bit of a glimpse into my thought process how I play around with these stickings and create some funky sounding things from what started out as just a paradiddle diddle. So you take your paradiddle diddle, maybe with your kicks, maybe without your kicks, maybe in triplets, maybe in sixteenths. See what patterns you guys can create and just chuck it around, see what sticks. I really hope this has been useful for you guys and I hope you enjoy throwing these patterns around your kits. If you want to see more lessons like this then please don't forget to subscribe to the channel and we hope to see you again soon.